So it was a unipolar world for, for AI. And, and so we've got a unipolar world, but, but the, the person who, who controls that does not, or at least did, did not seem to be concerned about AI safety. That, that, sound, that sounded like a real problem. So. The ongoing conflict between Tesla and ex-CEO Elon Musk and OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, is getting more intense as a U.S. federal judge announced that some parts of their lawsuit could actually go to trial. Musk, who helped to start OpenAI with Sam Altman back in 2015, is challenging the company's shift to a for-profit model. He argues that OpenAI is using its dominant position to push out other competitors. However, since Musk had previously backed OpenAI's decision to become a for-profit organization, it's unclear how much his argument will affect the company's change. To get the full understanding of how OpenAI and Elon Musk got to this point, let's check out how this legal battle started. The legal dispute between Elon Musk and OpenAI. In the previous year, Elon Musk initiated legal proceedings against OpenAI, alleging that the well-known technology firm had taken advantage of him in a manner that speaks of a Shakespearean drama. Musk contended that he was persuaded to assist in the establishment of the AI company under the guise of it being a for-profit enterprise dedicated to benefiting humanity. This assertion highlights Musk's belief that he was misled about the true intentions behind OpenAI's formation. Elon Musk has intensified his ongoing conflict with OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT, by filing a new lawsuit against them and including Microsoft as a defendant. Musk, who was one of the co-founders of OpenAI, claims that both the company and Microsoft are running a monopoly in an updated legal complaint he submitted. As the legal battle unfolded, Musk expanded his lawsuit to include federal antitrust claims, arguing that OpenAI has engaged in unfair practices since his departure from its board in 2018. Despite her skepticism regarding Musk's immediate requests, she did not entirely dismiss his claims. Instead, she indicated that Musk would still have the opportunity to present his case to a jury during the trial, which is scheduled to take place in 2027. This suggests that while the judge may not be inclined to halt OpenAI's plans in the short term, the legal proceedings will continue to unfold, allowing Musk to seek redress for his grievances in a formal courtroom setting. OpenAI clears the air about its decision. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has articulated a vision for the future of the organization that involves a significant transition from its original nonprofit status to a for-profit model. This shift is driven by the recognition of the immense financial resources required to develop advanced artificial intelligence technologies, the costs associated with research, development, and infrastructure for creating cutting-edge AI systems are substantial, and Altman believes that adopting a for-profit structure will enable OpenAI to secure the necessary funding to sustain its ambitious projects. One of the primary objectives of OpenAI is the development of artificial general intelligence a form of AI that possesses reasoning abilities comparable to or potentially exceeding those of human beings. Altman emphasizes that the additional funding generated through the for-profit model will be instrumental in advancing their research and accelerating the timeline for achieving AGI. This goal is not without its controversies, as there are widespread concerns about the potential risks associated with creating AGI. Critics argue that if not managed properly, the development of such powerful AI could lead to unforeseen and possibly dangerous consequences for society. Despite these concerns, OpenAI remains steadfast in its commitment to its foundational mission to ensure that AGI is developed in a manner that is safe and beneficial for humanity. Altman and his team are dedicated to implementing rigorous safety measures and ethical guidelines throughout the development process aiming to mitigate risks while maximizing the positive impact of AGI on society. The decision to transition from a nonprofit to a for-profit organization is relatively uncommon, particularly in the tech sector. Rose Chan Louie, the executive director of the UCLA Law Center for Philanthropy and Nonprofits, points out that such shifts are typically seen in healthcare organizations rather than in companies that are primarily driven by investor backing. A new escalation in the legal battle between Elon Musk and OpenAI today. Musk now asking a federal court to stop the startup's transition to a for-profit entity and to ensure that OpenAI investors can fund competitors. Elon Musk motive for the legal dispute. This is not Elon Musk's first encounter with legal battles, 
because he has been entangled in several high-profile lawsuits throughout his career. His legal battles include notable cases against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, which stem from his controversial tweets about Tesla, as well as disputes with advertisers on X, the social media platform he owns. These instances highlight Musk's contentious relationship with regulatory bodies in the business community at large. However, his recent lawsuit against OpenAI's transition to a nonprofit model raises eyebrows and may come across as somewhat hypocritical. Musk has been an outspoken critic of what he perceives as the monopolistic tendencies of big tech companies, advocating for a more equitable and transparent technological landscape. Yet his actions tell a different story. For instance, Musk has made multiple attempts to acquire DeepMind, a leading AI research company, indicating a desire to consolidate power in the AI sector rather than promote a diverse ecosystem. Moreover, Musk was a proponent of OpenAI adopting a for-profit structure back in 2017, believing that such a model would better incentivize innovation and attract investment. His departure from OpenAI came after he was unable to secure majority control over the organization, a move that he later addressed in a blog post published by OpenAI. This history suggests that Musk's motivations may not be as selfless as he claims, particularly when viewed in the context of his own business interests. Currently, Musk's own AI venture, XAI, is valued significantly lower than OpenAI, which has established itself as a leader in the field. This disparity in valuation could further fuel suspicions about Musk's intentions, as he may be seeking to undermine a competitor rather than genuinely advocating for responsible AI development. Additionally, Musk's recent exclusion from President Donald Trump's ambitious $500 billion Stargate project, which involves collaboration with OpenAI, adds another layer of complexity to his legal maneuvers. The effects of historical tension on OpenAI. OpenAI has stated that Elon Musk's demand for a court order might negatively impact its business activities and overall mission, ultimately aiding Musk in his own AI company. The organization described Musk's legal assertions as implausible, indicating that they lack a strong basis and are improbable to withstand examination. The origin of this conflict can be linked to a power struggle that arose in 2017, the year Sam Altman became the CEO of OpenAI. Internal emails from OpenAI provide insight into the dynamics involved during this time. It seems that Musk had aspirations of assuming the CEO position himself. Nonetheless, his ambitions faced opposition from two other co-founders, who raised worries that Musk's substantial ownership share and position of authority might create a power imbalance in the company. They worried that if OpenAI achieved its goal of creating advanced artificial intelligence, especially artificial general intelligence, Musk's power might grow excessively. Musk's concerns about the possible threats of advanced AI have been extensively recorded, he has often expressed his worries regarding the existential threats that advanced AI technologies may present to humankind. This viewpoint has driven his participation in talks regarding AI safety and regulation. Nonetheless, the conflict between Musk and OpenAI's executives seems to arise not just from contrasting opinions on the future of AI, but also from individual aspirations in the organization's governance framework. As the situation develops, it is uncertain how these long-standing tensions and varying perspectives on the future of AI will affect both open AI and Musk's efforts in the sector. The legal conflict may establish important precedents for the regulation of AI firms and the obligations of their executives, along with the wider effects on the evolution of AI technologies within society. Sam Altman ultimately rose to the position of CEO at OpenAI, a role he has primarily held throughout the years. Nonetheless, his time with the company was suddenly cut short in 2023 when he was unexpectedly dismissed. This choice faced substantial opposition, resulting in a rapid overturning of his firing once the board that authorized his termination was reorganized. Against the backdrop of these leadership shifts, OpenAI has been diligently striving to clarify its message concerning Elon Musk's position on the organization's shift to a for-profit model. The firm has aimed to emphasize that Musk first backed the notion of transforming OpenAI into a profit-driven organization. This change aimed to ease the process of obtaining essential funding to back the extensive technological and computational resources required for artificial intelligence development. 
Musk's dissent regarding OpenAI's profit-oriented approach is shared by several other critics, including Meta Platforms, which owns Facebook and Instagram. Meta has adopted a proactive approach by calling on California's Attorney General to step in and stop OpenAI's move toward a profit-oriented model. Furthermore, Delaware's Attorney General has launched an inquiry into the issue, highlighting widespread worries regarding the effects of this change in the AI environment. As the legal situation unfolds, the timeline for a potential trial remains uncertain. Initially, Musk's legal team indicated readiness to proceed by June. However, following further discussions and deliberations, the presiding judge suggested that the case might not be heard until June 2026 at the earliest, with a more likely scenario pointing to early 2027. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.